Hello everybody, my name is Petr Koutny and today I will speak about game Petrosian Sucks and I'm a really big fan of Tigran Petrosian's games so I will do my best to show you his game as best as I can and what I will show you. For example, in this position looks everything's okay, you know, ordinary position but Tigran Petrosian is going to open the file and the first fight uh, what we will watch it's fight against or over open the file and this file will be really important for both sides and side which will own this open the file will have big advantage and this will be really interesting to watch his moves and his ideas and then I will show another interesting moment of this game because somewhere here um, this position may be the biggest white weakness is on d4 square and maybe the worst white piece is knight on c3 and altogether is a really simple plan knight to b1 because then white will play move uh, c3 and he will take care about square d4 and of course this knight will go one day to d2 and c4 so really interesting moment and you know a really great style of the grand petrosian and at the end of this video i will show a really amazing moment uh, the grand petrosian will find a really great chess plan you know i am here and he will play with his queen to b1 c2 b3 c4 and e2 so looks really crazy how to play chess how to play so many moves with one queen still this is a, a really interesting style of play and maybe this is style of tigran petrosian so that was summary what we are looking for and i hope you will enjoy this video so i'm starting with the first moves i hope you will enjoy this video if yes feel free and press like or follow at my youtube chess channel and i will be really happy to see you to see you here again next time so okay we are watching nearly ordinary opening nothing special of course white has a small edge because he has more bones in the center i know side with a center control has usually small advantage but nothing special we are speaking about theory okay um, both players are playing good chess because they are playing with minor pieces and this is really important to start your game with your minor pieces to put them in a game and be ready for a fight okay now e5 and maybe a lots of players I will play here move d5 and I will show some moves how this game should go on and maybe b5 is a really interesting move in this position of course uh, black is attacking um, pawn e4 with the threat b4 and this is interesting style of play uh, maybe what's happen if white will take his pawn take take and maybe uh, white king should be in danger position so that's idea behind this move but of course nobody's surprised that this uh, types of play is not in interest of tigran petrosian tigran petrosian is going to open the file and from now the file will be the most important factor in this game and both players will do their best to take control over this file so okay simple move and um, the file is under fire uh, it's really interesting that uh, early players are not interesting to go for end game uh, maybe with early small advantage but what maybe here it's good to point is the open d file and d file is belong to white so maybe for this reason um, black usually is going to c8 okay and white went with his queen to c1 so the fight over open d file start 
So let's find rook to d8, one exchange, and the last rook is going to open d5. So a really great lesson how to fight if in a chessboard is open only one file. Now you have to find or you have to take every chance. So where do you think um, white has a small chance to get another small advantage? Yes, Tigran Petrosan is playing move h3 and he's trying to get two bishops advantage. You know why black should take on f3 and why black will not save his bishop. For example, if uh, I think if he's going to e6, uh, maybe it's for him uh, dangerous move knight to b5. And this move, it's dangerous or it's dangerous move knight to g5. And still this bishop, you know, is under attack. It's a still white target and uh, maybe at the end still uh, black will lose this bishop or he will exchange this bishop. So for this reason uh, he decided to take immediately. Okay, from now uh, Tigran Petrosan has two bishops advantage. Okay, so that means that nearly every endgame is in his favor. You know, not a big advantage, but two bishops are working very well in a game. So this is good to remember and just go. Okay, uh, maybe you are asking why it's not good move rook to d8 because I was speaking about open d file and knight to b5. It's working very well in this position. Okay, maybe you want to change. And uh, yes. Uh, if nothing, white has more edge. You know, he has two bishops, he is lord of open d file, and it's really hard to see any black's activities. So this is a really interesting position. You know, uh, this is not big and winning advantage for white. It's interesting advantage, and maybe this is exactly what is looking for Tigran Petrosan. This is this is his position, this is his chess, he is looking for a small edge. And, you know, maybe at this time we are speaking about 1979 year, uh, nobody in the world will be interesting to play this position against Tigran Petrosian. He was the best player maybe in chess history in these positions ever. So this is really interesting uh, moment how black has to play. Maybe black will play this position against anybody else but not against Tigran Petrosian. And that's the reason why, why it's good to remember Tigran Petrosian as a chess player, as a chess legend, and as a human. Okay, uh, for this reason, black played move a6. Okay, now, maybe a lot of players are playing rook to d2 and he's still going to fight over open d file. Uh, Tigran Petrosan is speaking in another with another words. D4 square is a weakness and maybe one day uh, black will jump there with his knight. So he is speaking like in prophylaxis chess. How to stop black to go to d4? Another question. Uh, what's white's worst piece? And maybe I will speak about this bishop and I will tell to myself that this bishop is a bad piece. But Tigran Petrosan believed that this knight is a bad piece or is a worst white piece. And this is another reason why it's too good to learn from chess masters. You know, simple plan. Find your worst piece and improve. Okay, knight, how to improve this knight? Or maybe if this knight is standing here, oh, this is a big improvement, only one square and what a different. So, how to go to c4 and how to take care about square d4. Knight to b1, a really ma amazing move. You know, it's hard to believe that anybody from us will touch this knight and we'll go to b1. This is good to remember and this is good to know this motive because 
this motif will improve your chess. Okay, rook to d8. At the end, of course, uh, black is fighting uh, against open d file. Take, take, and uh, c3. So, at the right time, uh, white is taking care about d4 square, and looks like d4 square was maybe the most important target for black and maybe the biggest white weakness. Okay, uh, looks okay that um, black is going to d3, you know, his queen is so great and so strong. So what to do? Of course, at the first, uh, this, this pawn is under attack. So white has to defend this pawn. You know, maybe looks like black has activity, but this bishop is a bad bishop. This knight is bad knight, you know, it's difficult to find job for him. And because of move c3, this knight is bad knight. So maybe only one black's good piece is this queen and it's not enough. So how black should play this position? He need to improve his bad pieces and this is another reason why is it good to learn from chess masters? They know what to play. They know where they have bad pieces and they are improving their bad pieces. So this bishop is a bad bishop and is going to f8. At least something. At least uh, black is trying to improve his position. Okay, another way how to play this position. Where is black's best piece? Yes, of course. Is this queen so we have to do against black best piece so we have to attack this piece and we are going to be one why because as I told you white has two bishops advantage and these two bishops are really working well in nearly every endgame so maybe um, we are not able to win this endgame only because we have two bishops but um, at least black will play a really difficult endgame against two bishops. So uh, for this reason, um, black has decided to go to b5 and he decided to, to keep his queens. Okay, now watch maneuver which was played in this game. Knight to d8, another great move. As I told you, bad piece need to be improved. And I told you that the black is free bad minor pieces and it's the right time to improve these pieces you know uh, this is a really interesting fight we are not watching games like Michal Tal was playing you know uh, attack attack and checkmate we are watching a really strategical fight and interesting game uh, now we are watching this amazing chess plan and this is really interesting how Tigran Petrosan is looking for a game. He knows that two bishops are his advantage for nearly every endgame and he's trying to exchange his queens. Yes, of course, black is not interesting, but white is interesting. And now he went to e2. So it was really amazing <laughs> way how to play with his queen. And nothing happened, you know, both players are improving his pieces. They are not playing with pawns, so everybody is happy with their pawns formation. And now it's up to how to improve our pieces. So this is a really interesting fight, you know. It's a very tough game because it's really lots of um, options how to play this position and it's really difficult for both players to, to foresee all moves. Okay, for this reason, maybe now is playing a weak move. Uh, maybe this move is losing the file. I don't believe that this queen should go to e6 and lose a d file. We were speaking about d file in opening, and still there is only one open file, and it's not a good idea to leave this file. <laughs> he leave. Okay, so white took this chance and he took this open file. So simple chess, open file, two bishops, improving minor pieces and maybe 
good knowledge that two bishops are good in any game. So that's everything what Tigran Petrosian is playing here and still it's really nice. Now to c6, a3. Uh, maybe it's not bad move b3, but okay, a3 happened. Uh, what's happened, for example, if black is going to a2? <laughs> yes, of course, don't be surprised. <laughs> White know that every endgame is good for him, and for example here, this is exactly what White love to play. You know, it's a really tough endgame, and you need to have good technique to win this endgame, but at least this endgame is nearly without any risk for White, and Black need to be careful to play this endgame. Okay, that's another story. Uh, another weak move. Uh, happened here because this bishop it's for a long time really passive without any activity and job so now it's the right time to start attack b4 yes maybe one day um, white will play a4 b5 c4 c5 and now uh, this game is about space space is a really interesting uh, strategical factor in our chess games and watch these squares. Now um, white is taking four squares in a fifth rank. So uh, black is losing space and this game is difficult for him and you know looks like from nothing <laughs> white is getting bigger and bigger advantage. You know it's really funny to watch this game. You know nothing happened but um, black's position is more difficult. Okay, uh, of course, um, this is the right moment to go for any game, but I understand that black is really worried to play this end game. So he was playing knight to d8 and another maybe weak move, knight to c4. And watch the difference between white species and black species. This is really nice uh, position. How to see a different because if we will understand difference we will understand why we have advantage you know white species are without doubt stronger than black species and this is really good to know good to remember good to watch good to uh, look for a difference and you know bishop to g4 <laughs> bishop, this bishop was the worst white piece so it's good to improve and now maybe what's happened if black is going knight to f6 is going bishop to c8 from nothing you know it's really tough to remember that this bishop was the worst white piece and in two moves <laughs> sorry in two moves this bishop should be the best white piece so this is really good to remember if you are really looking for chess improvements it's good to remember that you need to find your worst piece and you need to improve your worst piece this is really um, the best way how to improve your chess so in a game we are watching uh, knight to e6 and <laughs> knight to a5 and looks like uh, black's pawn formation is under attack and from nothing from really nothing um, black is nearly losing so okay what's happened if black is playing move b6 knight to c6 and of course is losing pawn so that's not in black's interesting to lose any pawn at least it's good to play bad position but has the same amount of material so b5 but square c6 is a weak so anyway it's going there maybe stronger is to play c4 yes because the pawn on a6 is a really big weakness but okay nothing happened if white is playing in knight to c6 and this game is such a nice game so uh, it's good to remember Tigran Petrosian as one of the best chess players of all times 
and I hope you are enjoying this game because this game is really interesting and amazing chess fight. You know, uh, yes, maybe the last hope to go for this end game, but this end game is nearly lost for black. So okay, black is fighting and it's going to e8, c4, and black's position is destroyed. Yes, of course, if black will take, he's losing pawn on, on a6, and of course, if he will lose this pawn, he's losing every endgame. So, knight to f6, okay, take, take, yes, if he will take here, he's losing, and you know, every endgame with two, these two pawns are lost. Yeah, you know, black has bad pieces and less material, so great game, great game and I really enjoyed this game. So watch this game till end, it's not too many moves to play. So he took, lose a pawn, okay, exchange a pawn, so, you know, black, white is winning because one day he's playing a4, 5, 6, 7, and watch this queen because this queen is really supporting the last winning move. You know, with nearly every exchange, there is no problem to go for endgame. So take, take. If, for example, he will take with his queen or buy his queen, he's playing a4, a5, a6, and this pawns are a really weak pawn, so I'm speaking about a lost endgame. So, we should finish this game. Uh, take, take, um, b5, improving white screen, and a4, and somewhere here, black resign. Amazing game, you know, of course, it was not a game like Bobby Fischer's or Gary Kasparov style or Mikhail Tal, but it was a game where chess lover will find his love, because this was style of Tigran Petrosian, really f great strategical fight, you know, um, peace improvement and, you know, a really tough, tough game where it's hard to find a big black mistake. You know, everybody, you know, both players were playing good chess, but Tigran was stronger in this game. So we are at the end, my friend, of this game and at the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed because I was trying to show you a really interesting and great Tigran Petrosian game. So I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your watching. If you pressed like or follow, it's great. And I hope I will see you next time. So have a good day and I will see you soon. Bye bye.